We are in Mardi Gras territory where parades would roll and crowds would flock, but not this year. The looming danger from the Hard Rock construction collapse is detouring both Endymion and Zulu to new routes. In major Mardi Gras changes, two super crews will bypass their traditional routes on Canal Street. Zulu will turn off St. Charles onto Poydras, cutting Canal out entirely. Endymion will turn off Canal on Elk instead of continuing to St. Charles. Some businesses near the collapse zone say the changes add insult to injury. We wait for this even whole year, and if it's, it's going to affect big time. But those along the new route expect a boom in business this Mardi Gras. Double our staff, that way we can accommodate everyone. We'll do an outside bar like a normal game day for us. Um, of course, making sure that we order enough product. Endymion is also ending at a new location, the Convention Center, because of renovations happening at the Superdome. The cruise president said the changes could have been even bigger for Endymion, revealing that the beginning of the parade was nearly changed as well and the crew will spend more money on more police officers to keep its mid-city home. Police just don't have the manpower to be able to work our parade Friday and Saturday to get it ready. Extra Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputies will be on duty at Orleans and Carrollton this year. That's after two drunk driving crashes on or near the route in two out of the last three Endymion parades. Last year, two people died on Esplanade. Nearly 30 people were hurt in the 2017 crash on the route. This year, Endymion expects a safer parade, even with the downtown detours. It's the normal Endymion parade with 3,200 strong or 80 floats. Uh, we're just very excited to start in Mid-City and, and have a place to end our, our uh, parade and, and go into the convention center. Both crews hope to resume their normal routes next year after the Hard Rock Hotel construction site is demolished. The latest plans, according to the city, call for the demo to happen as early as March. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.